Apple has just released the brand new M4 Mac Mini. And I've been pouring over the spec sheets and got all the details for you here. Now, out of this week of Mac releases that we're getting, I think this is the machine that interested most of us. We knew it's going to be a new design. We heard it was going to be small, and it is. It's just five inches by five inches. They start with 16 gigs of memory on the M4 Mac Mini. The M4 Mac Mini Pro can be configured with up to 48 or 64 gigs of memory. Storage range is from 256 gigs up to two terabytes on the base level Mac Mini. And on the Mac Mini Pro, you can go from 512 gigs up to eight terabytes of storage, although it doesn't come cheap. We'll get to that a little bit later on. Apple M4 has a 10-core CPU with four performance cores and six efficiency cores, a 10-core GPU, and a 16-core neural engine. The M4 Pro has a 12-core CPU with uh, eight performance cores and four efficiency cores, a 16-core GPU, and that same 16-core neural engine. But it can be configured with up to a 14-core CPU and a 20-core GPU. Memory bandwidths range from 120 gigabits per second up to 273 gigabits per second on the M4 Pro Mac Mini. Now the ports, we knew we were getting some ports on the front and on the back, and this is where it starts to get interesting. On the front, you get a headphone jack, or that has got a built-in speaker as well, but you get a headphone jack. Well, you get two USB-C ports that support up to USB 3 speeds, so 10 gigabits per second, in other words. On the base Mac Minis, you get three Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back with 40 gigabits per second transfer speeds. On the Mac Mini Pros though, that's where things get to really start to get interesting. You get three Thunderbolt 5 ports, the first time they've ever used Thunderbolt 5 ports, with transfer speeds up to 120 gigabits per second. That's gonna make getting big files to and from it really, really quick. And on the back, you also get an HDMI port on all of the Mac Minis and a gigabit ethernet port, which can be spec'd up to 10 gigs if you really need it for networking. You get Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. M4 Mac Mini, the base level Mac Mini, supports up to two 6K displays and one 5K display simultaneously. The M4 Pro supports either up to three 6K displays or one 6K display and one 8K display simultaneously. Prices can begin to get quite expensive. They start at £599 for the very base level Mac Mini, but if you tick all the boxes on the Mac Mini Pro, you can spend up to £5,200 on this little bad boy. Pre-orders start today and they begin to deliver on Friday the 8th of November. The one that interests me the most is the M4 Pro machine with the extra cores with 48 gigs of memory and two terabytes of storage. But let me know, are you pre-ordering today? What specs are you going for? And have you been waiting for this machine along with me? Let me know in the comments. I've got to go and get busy now ordering my Mac Mini. Make sure to get subscribed. I've got loads of great content coming up on it. I'd love to know what are you going to buy? What Mac Mini tempts you?